Praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony. And today I'm going to be giving you seven places where we praise God. Praise is what I do. I have a praise on my lips and thanksgiving in my heart. Where do you praise the Lord? Number one, we praise God among the nations. Psalm 57, 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. In the Hebrew, nations refers to Gentiles, the non-believers. Doesn't matter if you're with the non-believers, the atheists, the believers. Praise him, saints. You were made to praise. Praise is what I do. I hope it's what you do among the nations. Number two, we praise God among the multitude. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalm 109, 30 and 31. Whatever multitude you find yourself in, saints, if it's a crowd, praise him. If it's a crowd or if it's just a few, wherever you seem to find yourself, saints, he'll be at your right hand and he'll save you from those that will condemn your soul. Praise him in the midst of the multitude. Number three, we are admonished here in Psalm 35, 18 to praise God among the people. I will praise thee among much people. These are peoples of all languages, all backgrounds, all cultures, among the people. Don't be afraid. Set your faces flint and praise the Lord. Number four, saints, we praise God in his sanctuary. Psalm 150 verse 1, praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Saints in the Old Testament, in the Psalms, they went into the sanctuary with praise in their hearts, thanksgiving coming out of their mouth. The sanctuary, saints, it might be a, a church building where you meet, it might be under a tent, it might be in the, out in the open. His sanctuary, where two or three are gathered, there is he in the midst of them. Saints, we are to be living sanctuaries for the Lord holy temples the word of God asks a question know you not that you are the temple of the Lord praise him in his sanctuary whether it's a building or whether you're all by yourself and you're the only one there and you are the sanctuary number five we praise God in the congregation saints Psalm 22, 22, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise thee. Don't be ashamed to praise the Lord when you do go to the building. You are the church, not the building. Take your praise into the building and be the church. Psalm 22, 25, my praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. Saints, people are to fear the Lord, to have a reverential fear, a great respect for the Lord. In the great congregation, when they come together, if there's no fear of the Lord, that's not the congregation of the Lord. Be sure we will pay our vows before them that fear him. Let's find those that have that reverential fear and be full of praise for the Lord. Psalm 149, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Don't be ashamed to make that joyful noise. You're not trying to entertain your neighbor. You don't have to sing on key. You are praising to an audience of one. Praise is what I do, saints. But it's not something that we should do it's something that we should give to our Lord and Savior. Number six, we praise God in the midst of the church. The church is the ecclesia, the called out ones. It's seriously, saints, the assembly 
of the believers and the followers of Yahuwah. We praise him in the midst of the assembly. Hebrews 2.12 Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church, I will sing praise unto thee. Here's the example, saints. Make that joyful noise. Don't be self-conscious. Your voice lifted up to the Lord is sweet to his ears. Be encouraged, saints. In the midst of the assembly, praise him, love him, and let those that fear him see the example that you're setting and sharpen that iron. Number seven, we praise God when we enter his courts. In Psalm 100, verses 4 and 5, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and unto his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. We praise him in his courts. Saints, we are given the authority and the privilege of entering his courts with thanksgiving. We are to enter with praise on our lips, not lip service. Let it come from the heart, saints. The Lord will receive your praise. The Lord will receive the adoration and he will see your devotion. Is sister with a testimony and praise is what I do. I pray that praise will be what you do. In Yahushua's name, Amen.